Today, we are going to. I'm going to make a cutaway knife from a file. I currently don't have my forge running, so I am unable to forge blades. Um, and we're just gonna make a little small um, file knife. We'll see how it's go. I have never done a cutaway style knife before, um, but it, it shouldn't be too difficult. I think I'm gonna do a Shotang, Shon Tang here and with that I'm gonna need more um, handle material so I think I'm gonna have about three inches of blade material uh, I have roughly uh, six and a half I'm gonna just rough six and a half here so I'm gonna have about a three inch blade material and about three and a half handle material maybe maybe a little more I'm gonna cut the tang off and then I also was thinking about this design, which I haven't done a lot, but I think I want to try this one. So I think I'm going to do this one. Uh, I'm going to get this drawn up on the material, and then I'm going to cut off my tang and uh, get to the grinder. So what I did is I took uh, my rough point shape. Um, that's pretty good. I like how that turned out. Uh, it's still a little more, uh, a little less angled and farther back than I had originally designed. Uh, and I did clean up this edge so that uh, this edge here, so that these file burrs on this side uh, wouldn't be there when I end up finishing grinding. Um, now I gotta figure out how I want my handle shaped, which uh, I don't think will be too bad. I think it'll be more of a, it'll have a kind of front bolster area here, and then it'll come back with a little easier, uh, a place for you to grab into that a little easier. So I think I got the rough shape of my handle down. It'll be very similar to this uh, drawing here. Uh, it is a very thin handle, being that it's a very small piece of material I'm working with. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go back to the grinder, uh, get that roughed out. Uh, probably will be a bit thicker than uh, wider, that is, than what's shown here. I gotta feel it in my hand and see how, see what feels good, you know. So, I'm gonna get into that. So this is it uh, after um, I ground down the handle. It is very thin, um, but that's what happens when you use a small material. That's okay. Um, we're gonna work with what we have. Well, all right. So I'm gonna get out the belt sander, and I'm gonna get the file part off of uh, at least down here on the uh, blade, because then uh, I won't have that raised area for my handle scales to sit, so that there won't be a gap between this little area back here and here. So, so yeah, I'm gonna get rid of all this roughness here uh, and make it smooth, like down here. Uh, and we'll go from there. I uh, don't think I'm going to take off the uh, the majority, at least, of the um, roughness on the blade part because I think that will look cool if we leave uh, some of this stuff as our grind lines appear. We'll be able to look at them just a bit better.
So I cleaned the blade up. Uh, it looks a heck of a lot nicer than it did. I did up using uh, and taking uh, and going over this part with the belt sander because I realized that it still leaves that texture, um, but it did get it down a lot farther than it would have been without uh, sanding it. So I just cleaned it up. It looks a lot shinier. Uh, I'm going to draw my lines again to where I want to start grinding and go from there. I So I just went to Harbor Freight and picked up a 1x30 grinder because the 3x48 grinder or belt sander that we had um, was vibrating too much and uh, the belts were sliding so that I couldn't get a nice edge on, or not edge, but line on the blade. Um, so I went and picked up the, this the, uh, plate. Nice little 1x30. Um, 50 bucks. It's not going to last me forever, but it'll last me until I get my big one, which I think I will get this spring. That's much better. This is going to make it so well and simple it cleans up the blade and hides the mistake that you made when you did your plunge lines a little bit wrong. Here I went in and drew out where I wanted my handle material to go and then I also marked where I want my rivets to be put. Um, I didn't really measure it out, just kind of eyeballed it and figured that um, this is something that is handmade and that I am going to use for myself, so I didn't feel like measuring it. And then went on to kind of rough draw out the scale on this piece of maple, this beautiful little blonde piece of curly maple that I found. It was going to make a beautiful set of handle scales. I then went on to attempt to uh, drill holes into where the rivets will end up being. This will give me good mechanical connection um, once you get to putting those in. Um, 
soon I realized that this fern tail is way too hard to drill in with a mini drill bit and I soon <laughs> went and got a blowtorch out and I tempered it to a nice red color so that I could actually bite in with the drill bit that I have. This is pretty much the end of the video, um, thank you for watching, um, please like and subscribe if you would like to see more content like this, this is going to be most likely a normal that I do frequently, um, just again, like and subscribe, and hope you enjoyed this final knife, part 2 is coming very soon.